Welcome back, everybody, at Sport Federation TV. We carry on talking about sport in the province. And, of course, as you know, chess has been super active. We spoke to Andre Levax, the president of Western Cape Chess. We spoke to, we've spoken to Ruben Salimu, the um, head of high performance at Western Cape Chess. We've spoken to Rebecca Selkirk, astonishing athlete coming out of the ranks of Western Cape Chess. I'm just remembering all the chess interviews. But today is a special interview because one of these days, there's a big uh, event. And he's back to defend his title, Mark Lewis, Western Cape Chess Champion. Mark, fantastic to have you on the show. How are you? I'm great. I'm great, JP. Great to be on the show. Mark, first time for us to have you on the show, but you are no stranger to sport in the Western Cape. You've been involved in sport in chess for a long time. You've been involved in the administrative circles for a long time. You've been in the meetings. I mean, you know how sport works in the province. But let's take the administrative side out of it. In this case, you are the Western Cape chess champion. Yes, that's right. Yeah, the Western Cape closed champion. We've got so many different variants of the sport at the moment. So um, it's, it, this event was played in September in 2019 that I won the title. Mark, um, let's talk about that for a second, though. 2019, so you have to now, you're now in a position that you have to, I mean, as, as the reigning champion, 2019 closed chess champion, do you have to bring that mental game from 2019 and carry it through a year of, of COVID into a new competition? How do you bring that mental, mental aspect back now, 2021? Look, I think everyone is looking forward to over the board chess. Uh, it has its own uh, unique elements, especially being able to uh, have the nerve to be able to uh, look your opponent in the eye and to feel the energy from the one or the, the other player. So that's not there at the moment. Yeah. So I have to, uh, I think there's a lot of unknown factors at the moment. One has to bring across what have you been doing in uh, the time when we were only playing online chess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're, you're, you've got an event coming up now on the 6th of March. This is, uh, just tell us about this event and then we're going to ask you a little bit about some of the specifics into, into preparing for competition. At this stage, um, it is uh, fairly... Uh, Oh, no, not really a new concept at the moment. It's becoming uh, second nature nowadays to play online. Um, and so this event will be played online. So it's not exactly, it doesn't have that same aura as what the over the board, which is the one where I defended my title. So um, it, it will be, and the time control generally for Online chess is normally a faster time control, so it's more of a rapid. We spoke to Ruben Salimu, I think, the week before last about some of the high performance coaching, and I asked him if that in the in the world of chess, whether or not the um, <clears throat> there is a in the high performance environment a level of physical um, uh, interaction of 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 intimidation and looking your opponent in the eye and and saying, well, it's, it's me and you now, that challenge. Um, is that a drawback for you? Because surely your competitors are going to be looking out for you. They're going to be knowing that you're the one to beat. Yes. It, um, even online, there is a type of intimidation factor because you uh, sort of know the history of this player. You know how he has performed in the past. But... Um, there's not enough of that. Uh, yeah. The physical, the physical uh, intimidation is not really as uh, available, or as, you're not actually exposed to too much of the players. Let's call it his, maybe his mental or his physicality yes. and the psychology of it, of being able to see each other. Yeah. Yeah. So how, what sort of adjustments have you, when you talk about the fact that you've had to make some adjustments to your game 
to a strategy and obviously we we can't let you we understand that you can't let the cat out of the bag and tell all your competitors who are watching now um what it is that you're going to, the tricks that you're going to have up your sleeve but what are the kind of things that a, a champion such as yourself have to think about now that you're in the online space what sort of preparation do you have to do i mean you i'm assuming that you're sitting at home in competition um that is so uh it is difficult to to the adjustments primarily is that you will have to adjust to a faster time control so you you can't you don't have all that time to work out and think of, of your response because time is just uh, such a factor in chess at the moment that time just seems to run away and also um it seems that you 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 still have to play a solid game of chess you still have yeah. to use a lot of physical ability but you need to know that uh, you can't really um Sort of, uh, sort of intimate date with whatever uh, yeah. um, presence you have. So you have to find. I have to have to make the adjustments that I have to make sure my internet is good. Surely there are practical things that you have to think about. Your internet has to be good. You've got to maybe hope that the dog's not going to be barking down the side of the passage. Um, that people aren't going to be ringing on your front doorbell. Um, that the kettle isn't going off in the background. There are all these practical. Uh, uh, oh, you, you! Heaven forbid! There's a power outage and you lose your Wi-Fi connection. That that will be the worst if you have a power outage. And also, not only that, you also must make sure, you are, as you say, you actually have to uh, be in a position of lockdown. You have to make sure that there's no interruption. Yeah. Um, you know. Because there's so many distractions when you're at home, you can actually be so easily distracted. It's the TV, it's sport on that day that, you know, if your fav favorite team is playing, <laughs> you have to score goals. So, and so, you can't move from your board. Yes. One of yes. the things is that you can't move from the board. You have to have a camera, a zoom camera, um, over over your, your wherever you're sitting or wherever you're playing. Mark, um, is there any chance that we can see what it is that you're playing for? We see there now, in fact, you've got it on there now. Is that the trophy? Is that what you're playing for? That's what the people are coming to get? This is the trophy that was awarded to me as a keepsake, but I believe there's also a bigger one, which is a floating trophy. Right. Uh, at the, um, for, for the Western Cape Plus champion. Okay, so well, we're going to... That's the, the trophy. That's the Western Cape Chess Championship trophy. We say to you then, um, hopefully you'll keep it for another year, but we'll also say to the other athletes out there, best of luck. And, and we hope that we're so happy that you guys are back competing against each other. We know it's not over the board. It's not face to face and that you would love to be doing that. But we're, we're excited for you and everybody else for the 6th of March to, to be competing. Thank you, JP. I'll, I'll try my best to hold on to this as long as I can. <laughs> we're looking forward to it good luck mark there we go folks mark lewis western cape chess champion and isn't that fantastic on the 6th of march our western cape athletes our western cape chess ch athletes are getting th there to compete against each other um and it, well you heard what mark said he's been carrying this title around since 2019 2020 of course a terrible year but at least this year now well it's two weeks away three weeks away that our athletes are going to be able to to compete with each other and um and we know that the competition this year is going to be very tough we've spoken to their high performance coach ruben salimu and we know that with all that online coaching we're going to see some real serious competition uh, uh roll out but we'll bring you the results we'll bring you the chess results some interviews and photographs so make sure that you stay tuned to sport federation tv uh we'll uh, leave it at that then this evening folks as of course you know every week friday night saturday mornings uh, we bring you what's happening with sport in the province. Have a safe weekend. Bye-bye.